So you want to learn on how to use a new Z cutter? Watch the video. Hey, Steve L here. Today we're gonna to be showing you the unboxing of the new Z cutter and how to set it up and use it, so let's go. All right, in the first box that you opened up, there will be your entry guide for your short cuts and your shear handle. All you gotta do is just cut your strap here, take out your shear handle, and take out your entry guide. Now once that box is removed, you got your main Z cutter here. And once you're ready with that, you pick it up by your handle. Once you get up, you got your shear handle, you got your rack for your shear, where you mount your shear. You got your cutter here on the back side. Once you flip it around, like so, this is your entry side where it shows you your two inch marking, inch and a half and one inch for whatever size the Z channel you have. Now let's put it on the machine. All right, now that we have the unboxing done, we're gonna be setting it up in our SSQ2 with an overhead reel rack. We're gonna slide it right to the lower runout stand support. Grab the bottom part. As you see, you have a hole in there. You just slide it through your runout stand, line up the hole, put your pin in, and put your hook in for safety. The next step is let's install the shear handle. All you need is to grab your shear handle and a 3 16 Allen wrench. Line up the key slot with the key slot on there. Slide it all the way in and come up from down below to tighten them up. And that step is done. All right, the next step is we're gonna set up our alignment bars on back of the shear. In that step, you just back out your handles. That locks it in. Once you took out your locking handles out of the alignment bar, now let's take the alignment bar, put it in the recess holes right here. All right, the next step is take your locking handles, insert them through the holes, start threading it on, and repeat it on the opposite side. Thread it on. Snug it up. If your handles are out, pull out, rotate down. They lock in so that way there doesn't interfere with your Z channel, just like so. All right, let's go ahead and set up our guide bars for our first cut. So what we have to do first is loosen up our locking handles, slide this up. Now what you want to do is measure off the back of the plate to where you want. Say we're going to do a 12 inch cut you got to add three quarters of an inch to the back of the shear plate. So we want to go 11 and a quarter. So slide this to 11 and a quarter. Once you got that measurement, go ahead and lock down your locking pins. Once again, if they're in the way, you can just lift them up and turn them out of the way. All right, now we're ready. So we got to disengage our shear pin so the shear will rotate up and down. Now let's grab our C channel and let's get some cutting going. All right, now that we're ready, let's grab our shear handle, rotate it up. We've got our two inch Z channel, line up with the two inch marking, slide it in to hit your backstop to line it up. So now we're ready, let's go ahead and cut it. Once you're done shearing it, go ahead and rotate your handle back down and let's grab the piece and see what it measures. As you can see, it measures 12 inches. Now what happens if we need to run something longer than 22 inches? We gotta take off our alignment bar. So let's do that right now. Now you just unscrew the entry side screws that's holding it on. Take this off and set it off to the side. All right, we're gonna do a four foot cut. Find 48 inches, you add one inch since you come running something longer than 22 inches. So we add an extra inch. So make it 49, you mark the top of your channel, and let's get it through the shear. All right, now we're ready. Let's go ahead and cut it. Open up your shear handle, line up with the two inch mark, feed it through till you line up to your mark to the entry side of the aluminum plate. Now you're ready to cut. Knowing that we're cutting a longer piece, it's gonna drop on the ground. Right now for demonstrations, we just put a box there to show you how it cuts and falls down. So here we go, line it up and go ahead and cut it. Let's go ahead and measure this piece now to make sure we're at 48. And right there we're at 48. Now that we cut our pieces, first off, let's put our shear back in safety mode 
by rotating the handle back up, inserting the pin in the top hole, so that way there it's safe, safety's on. So at this point, let's talk about material that we can run through this. If you look here to my right, you'll see the chart that shows you the thicknesses of the material you can run through the Z-cutter. Now let's talk about some tips and tricks on the Z-cutter. First and most part, lubricating your shear on both sides. Just a simple can of super lube. Take it, spray a little bit there on the exit and entry. Pull your safety pin out and rotate it up and down a couple times to get it all lubricated. Once you're done, go ahead and put your safety pin back in up top, engage it, and that part is done. If you want to remove the Z cutter, go ahead and grab it by the shear handle and the bottom of this. Pull your clevis pin and slide this right out and set it in back of your truck or in back of your van. Our Z cutter retrofits with any one of our NTM machines that has an overhead reel rack. And it also retrofits with other machines out there and possibly hooks up to the back of your hitch depending on the style of it. If you want to learn more about the Z cutter, just click the link right here. All right, thank you for watching this video of the unboxing of the new Z cutter and we'll see you in the next video.